Hi, I'm Tony Chipster, the Reef Noob. Today, I have a DIY tip for you. As I mentioned in a previous video, I have a fairly simple to build algae turf scrubber I wanted to share with you. It's a small unit, so this application may not work if you have a large system that requires a large screen. Although, if you have a large system and you just want a simple scrubber as a test run, this might work for you too. Details are readily available elsewhere. I'm not going to provide them here. I just want to show you the parts and simple construction and application of my unit. The parts needed are a small power head with suction cups at the base, about two feet of half inch PVC pipe, and you'll need the following half inch PVC pipe fittings. A 90 degree elbow, an end cap, and an adapter to connect the power head outlet to the half inch PVC pipe. I used a half inch female thread to a half inch slip fitting, but you may need something different depending on your power head. Knitting canvas properly prepared, as I said, I'm not going to show you that here, but you do have to scrape it up, rough it up so the algae can hold on to it. Uh, some wire ties. You'll need a suction cup designed to secure either aquarium heaters or other accessories to the glass in your aquarium. Uh, you can pick these up at your LFS if you don't already have one. You'll also need a light source. I use a 45 watt 2700K LED bulb in a clamp light I purchased at a hardware store. After you cut the pipe to the lengths that will work for your system, assembling the unit is pretty straightforward. I did not cement the PVC joints. I use a 185 gallon per hour pump and the dry fitted joints have been holding up just fine for the past three months. The assembled unit is attached to the floor of the sump by the suction cups on the bottom of the power head. The suction cup placed on the riser pipe secures it to the side of the sump. Cleaning is as simple as removing the end cap and slipping the screen out. I hope some of you find this useful. If you do, please let me know in the comments. Thank you and God bless.